What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, my 4C gang in the building. How you doing? This is cooking with comedian Michael Allen. Well, we do cooking, comedy, cussing, and cocktails. Today, for breakfast, my comedy, I mean my cocktail, is a glass of milk. Yeah. But I'm just having a bacon and egg sandwich for lunch. Nothing spectacular. I think for dinner I'm making some collard greens, some pinto beans, and some fried pork chops, and maybe some cornbread. If not cornbread, I'm thinking dressing. But how my 4C gang doing, y'all? Here I am trying to drop another video and do my thing. Did y'all watch my video from last night? Boy, was I feeling mighty good off that cocktail. But let me tell you, them um, cube steaks and gravy, oh my God, with them honey glazed carrots and that rice, it was banging. It was it was the bomb. How y'all doing this Sunday morning? How y'all doing? I hope y'all having a blessed Sunday morning. Um, I don't know if y'all went to virtual church or whatever, but you know what? Church is always in my heart. I'm always in that Bible, despite all my cussing that I do. Yes, I love to cuss. Hell, I hope I'm able to cuss when I go to heaven. So anyway, today I made me just a simple old, look at that, look at that. A nice bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich with Miracle Whip. I love heavy, heavy Miracle Whip. See, this is what you got to do. How y'all doing today? How y'all doing my 4C game? So look, let me get it by. Oh, I got to say my prayer. Y'all know what? I said, you know, last night I looked back at my video. I said, Michael, comedian Michael Allen. Because see, I talk to myself sometimes, you know, as long as you don't answer yourself back. I say, how the hell you going to do a pray? A prayer, stop in the middle of your prayer, cuss, and then go back in there and say, in your son Jesus' name. But you know, God already knew who I was before he made me. So look, this is going to be a very short video. Oh my God, let me get a bite of that. Oh, did I say my prayer? Yes. See, that ain't nothing but the devil. Dear Father God, I thank you for this bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich on toast with extra miracle whip in my glass of milk. Father God, thank you for waking me up this morning and blessing me to be amongst the land of the living. Father God, and I thank you most of all. That I don't have a hangover this morning. Oh, won't he do it? Won't he do it? Hollis to Hyundai Nayata. In your son Jesus' name, amen. I pray. All right. No hangover. I'm feeling good. Wow. Mm, 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 mm. I love. A little bit of miracle whip on I love. Love, love, love. To eat. Food comforts me. Oh, God. Food been better than me than any lover has ever been. Food ain't never cheated on me. It ain't never let me down. Oh. Be my best friend. <laughs> oh, God, I love me some food. I have a romantic love affair with food. I'm telling y'all. That's why I went to culinary art school and learned how to cook. Because and I say this all the time. I don't understand how people sit around and have to wait on other people to cook for them. People will go to somebody's house they don't like just because they can cook good food. See, I ain't even finna let nobody that don't like me cook for me. You might kill me. You might, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. You know, I worked in a restaurant for years. All types of restaurants. And to see them people pay all that money for food that costs, if you cook it at home, is less than half the cost. And... The sad part about it, soul food is the cheapest food to cook. But they charge you so much when you go, you know, to them soul food places. It's just ridiculous. Fifteen, sixteen dollars for a dinner. That's ridiculous. I went to a soul food place here in Detroit called Steve Soul Food. I ordered a pig feet dinner. 
It was two, two, you know, whole pig feet, some macaroni and cheese, some collard greens, and I paid extra for the candy in. $16. $16 and some chicken. What I did was, I went to the grocery store and bought all those ingredients, came home, paid less than $12, and was able to feed almost four people. Come on. Come on. We ought to do better. My goal and my wish, I want to open up a comedy cafe. Or an all-you-can-eat comedy buffet where... You come in, you pay a certain price, there's a buffet. And while you're eating, you may have three or four different comedians get up and, and do, do a comedy show. That is my goal. That's what I would love to do. Anyone like eating, eating and laughing are my two, two favorite, well I got three favorite things. Y'all already know what the third one is. Eating comedy and having sex. <laughs> See, I wake up thinking about sex, don't I? Don't get mad at me because of my sex drive. Don't get mad at me because my libido still works. Don't get mad at me because I love to make love. Hmm. It just so happens that most of my love making is with myself. Look at this bacon, y'all. Oh my god. I love my bacon. I love the fatty part on the bacon. I love the I love the fatty part on any meat. I love the fatty part on the oxtail. I love the fatty part. Mm. Period. Period. So, I was going to do a whole ham today, but it's nobody but me. So, I would have to freeze the ham or make a lot of ham sounds. And I didn't feel like doing all that. So, I'm going to just do some pork chops, some collard greens. Um, I don't know what else. Some beans. Either some cornbread or some hot water cornbread patty. Something nice. Like, like um, Sunday dinner. I got some rice left over, so I might make, you know, the beans and rice. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good. I have to hurry up and get in a relationship so I can cook for somebody. But you know what? Oh, this is so good. It takes a strong person to be able to handle me. You can't be weak and, and deal with me. You can't get your feelings hurt real easy and deal with me. You can't be so damn serious all the time and deal with me. That comes with friendship, relationship. Because see, one thing, I don't take nothing. I don't really flip out over nothing or take stuff that serious. People kill me. They can't pay a bill. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. They crying. You know what? You're wasting them tears for nothing because what's going to happen is what's going to happen. Your tears is not going to stop your lights or your bills from whatever being cut off. You better get that thing over to God and let it go. Um, I stopped worrying about it. Hmm. I'm a two-time cancer survivor. Last time I had to go through 27 rounds of chemo. And then the doctors in them were so worried, like, oh my God, and if you keep doing, we don't know if this gonna work. It could go into your system, you could die. On my 49th birthday, after the 27th round of chemo, I went in. The first three times, the chemo didn't work. But baby, when I went up in there that last time, don't you know? <laughs> they said the cancer was gone. Now tell me he won't do it. See, you can't, you, the doctor said, not God, huh? Come on, somebody. So that's why I'm always laughing. That's always why I'm in a good mood. That's why I'm always joking. That's why, oh, y'all, I'm representing my girl Eat With Philly Phil today. I wanted to give her a shout out. That's my big sis. I love my big sis. She she is, you know, I'm so glad God put her in my life. But anyway, see, so I don't let things worry because I already know God's got me. God's got it. That coronavirus, I ain't worried about it. God's got me. And if that's what he had put down for me to go from coronavirus, then so be it. Because I'm, I believe this, as soon as you're born, 
Do you have a day you've been born? Your day that you're going to leave here and how you're going to leave here is already planned, huh? You can't stop God's plan. I just hope my plan is to go. And I ask God this all the time. Lord, please, let me go at 126 years old, still trying to have sex. I'm going to be 126. That's how my leaders are. Okay, y'all. This is a nice short video. I'm so glad you guys stopped in. I'm glad that whoever always comes in, my 4C game, 4C game, cooking, comedy, cussing, and cocktails. Cooking, comedy, cussing, and cocktail. Cooking, comedy, cussing, and cocktail. Now, look, if this is your first time coming to my channel, this is just a little quick video. Usually, we be turned up. We turn up on this channel. Can't be weak and be one of my 4C games. But if this is your first time, do me a favor. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Hit that notification button. So every time I drop a video, you'll be like, oh, shit. Comedian Michael Allen about to make us laugh. He about to cook comedy, cuss, and cocktail. Y'all know what? I'm enjoying you guys. I get more and more new subscribers, new friends every day. Let's do this. We a family. It's a family affair. Mm, 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 mm. Milk does the body so good. <laughs> oh, yes. I love me some milk. All right, you guys. You guys have a blessed, wonderful Sunday. And um, look forward to my Sunday dinner video. Bam, I'll be bringing it to you. That's what we do. So my 4C gang, have a blessed Sunday. Be blessed and don't be in no mess. I'm the messy one. Peace.